there's been a lot happening. It's it's really been an earthquake in the in this Catholic Church in the United States. Um, Cardinal Dolan um, did not respond until um, almost a week later. I'm on a radio uh, podcast that he was on. Uh, there was there must have been a, just a huge protest by Catholics in St. Patrick's Cathedral, um, the parishioners, because nearly immediately there was a response from the cathedral saying it was uh, sacrilegious, it was a scandal, they apologized apologize for it, and that there was a massive reparation. They also claimed that they did not know who this person was who was a committed atheist. Um, the church says you can't you know, give a funeral service to a committed atheist. That actually has changed because there was um, an additional statements that said they knew the night before who this Gentile was. Um, nevertheless, um, the pictures of the people who attended this, I mean, there was a man who attended the service in a thong. There was really obscene clothing performances at the event. And Cardinal Dolan responded just this week by saying uh, he had no idea that he thought that the priest who handled it, he handled it, you know, he was a hero. And I think we'll look at some of the, the clips from that, and you can determine whether or not this Father Doherty was, in fact, um, a hero or whether he was really um, contributing to the circus atmosphere at St. Patrick's. Indeed. Let's, let's take a look at some of those clips um, the first I'd like to show you is, and I'm sorry, let's say viewer discretion advised, because what you're about to see is some of the clips from, as we said, one of the most sacrilegious things we've ever seen in, in a church in the United States. Um, and uh, we show these because it's important for you to understand how bad this really was. Uh, here is the priest calling up the lectors, and you can see as soon as they start reading what this is. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world, the, reason the world does not know us is that it does not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not been revealed. We do know that it is revealed. We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then, although I hate to show you this, this is them uh, from the pulpit again, calling out and making these horrific statements with whore, St. Cecilia, as, uh, as Liz pointed out uh, to me the other day. St. Cecilia, in addition to being the patron saint of music, is the patron saint of purity. And this is what they said. This whore, <laughs> this great whore, Saint Cecilia, mother of all whores. Today we say, we see you soon, and that you will give us the strength, the courage to continue your legacy. And we also have with us today to come onto the show just briefly, uh, Wendy Long. Give us, uh, introduce us to Wendy Long, if you would. Yes, Wendy Long is a very prominent, well-known, highly respected um, attorney, um, she's from New York on um, the East Coast, um, a committed Catholic, and she made it her um, solemn duty to attend a five o'clock mass where Cardinal Dolan was appearing in New York and asked him specifically about what went on at St. Patrick's Cathedral. 